Algebraic proof. Now we're given a sequence of numbers, square numbers, and we're given this rule we've got to try and prove that any three for any three consecutive square numbers of the first the, the sum of the first and third is always twice the second plus two. So we've got to try and prove it's given an example here of how it works. Now proving this algebraically means we're not allowed to use any of these numbers. We need to think of them in terms of a general number. So if we call the first number in our sequence n, um, sorry, the first number n squared, and then the second one is going to be n plus 1 squared, because that's the next one squared. So if this was, say, 2 squared, this would be 3 squared, because 2 plus 1 squared, and then 2 plus 2 squared would be 4 squared, so there'd be uh, 1, 2, 3, or 2, 3, 4, or 3, 4, 5, and so on. So these are the sort of things we've got to deal with, and we've got to try and make the first, some of the first and third, so we're trying to prove, just need to think about this, the sum of the first n squared plus n plus 2 or squared is equal to um, something where that is equal to m plus 1 or squared plus 2 is equal to the same thing. Okay, so we're trying to show that that equals that. So let's just start with that n squared plus n plus 2 or squared. Now the n squared is nice and easy, but the n plus 2 or squared is n plus 2 times n plus 2. And that's going to give us um, n times n, which is n squared. Then we've got 2 times n, which is 2n, plus n times 2, which is 2n, so that's 4n. And 2 times 2 is 4. Not, don't forget that there's always four terms from multiplying out a double bracket with two things in each part. And usually the middle two add together. So that gives us 2n squared plus 4n plus 4. Now we're trying to get to a result where we've got n plus 1 or squared plus 2. So we don't want to write anything to do with that, we just want to finish with that. So if I take this result up here, 2n squared plus 4n plus 4, that's equal to, well I want to get the plus 2 on the end, well that's easy enough, I'll just take the 2 away from the rest, and I've got 2n squared plus 4n plus 2 plus 2, so that's the 4 broken up into 2 plus 2. Then I want to make it, actually this was supposed to be twice the second number, I want to make it twice the second number, so if I this is going to be the second number part. I need to take out a factor of 2, and that leaves me with n squared plus 2n plus 1, and I've got the plus 2. Now all I've got to do is factorise this, and hopefully that should be n squared, uh, n plus 1 squared. Um, so that gives me n plus 1, and I pretty much know this is going to be the case. Let's just check it. N, 1 times 1 is 2, 1 times n, and n times 1 gives me 2n, and n times n is n squared. So that's going to be two lots of n plus 1 or squared plus 2. So that's proved it. So we've got from the first, the sum of the first and the third, multiplied all that out. If you've got to this point where you've multiplied it all out and got to here, that's going to be worth um, two marks at least. And then when you start to separate it out with a plus 2 here, that would give you an extra method mark. And then there's an answer mark there but you need to show some clear progression to there. Uh, four marks.